Hi, Chris. Robert, Robert, Robert. At last. It's been a while. Well, you, if you don't, if you don't want to do it, you, you should just say so. I know I am a dick. That's for sure. A, a dick. Not even. Not even a useful one. Just a dick. I'm here. I'm waiting. Well, I'm sorry, and I have to apologise because, of course, all these people have been dying for more weekly doses. Well, I've had loads of people contact me. I've just told them yep. that you, I, I blamed you. I, said, I blame Leah. I said you couldn't be bothered. Well, in fairness, Leah probably had a large part to do with it, shoveling me out to work. I haven't been. I haven't been in Rob. I haven't. I literally. Well, you know the score. I haven't been. I haven't. My backside. Yeah, you. You. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You've been home. I haven't been home. You've been playing on Instagram. You've been liking photos oh. and posting. <laughs> I see you, yeah, you all over but, social media. Yeah, one of you're either one of two things, and I'm going to say you're Cladumbo, which I quite like saying that Cladumbo, um, or else you're a really bad shitty Holmes. One of the two. Do you know you can you know you know whenever my social media is done between generally between the hours of one and two in the morning, whenever I'm trying to wind down to get to sleep. Oh, so you're still awake at one. So all those times I text you, you're just ignoring me again. Well, now you generally, you you generally here's here's let let let's tell her about the crackers. You generally, you generally ring me or text me whenever it's now, and you think like you would think you would realize this by now that I'm putting the kids to bed whenever I'm here, the little time that I'm here, or the, what or, between seven and ten. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. It takes you three hours to put the kids to bed. You can judge me all you like. It's taken longer this weather. Liam is a monster. Just one, one, one nighttime Tylenol for each of them. They'll be out like a light. Well, if you can ship it over to me, I would take it. <laughs> I would gladly take it. I, I, we have no time. We haven't. Liam and I haven't. Um, well, apart from me working. Now, hold on. I'm just checking that my I'm recording. Um, between all the stuff that's going on, which is a blessing, we're not complaining. Um, it's just everyone's out of sorts. But I am. I have booked a holiday. You're here tonight. You're here tonight. I'm that's here, great. I'm here tonight. I booked a holiday, um, and I am. I booked two holidays, and I am one for me, and one for me and the kids and the wife. And next week or the week after, is it? I am ceasing to trade and uh, moving forth with the relaxation. What do you think of that? I, I think you're crazy. <laughs> mm. So I got one story tonight. Of course you do. Of course you do bust my balls for weeks. Uh, weeks and weeks and weeks. And then, oh, I gave up on all my other stories. Oh, they're yeah. all old. They're not old, Rob. But nothing, They're all old. They're you'll be saying that, you'll, six you'll, weeks old. You'll be saying that um, Alex Soth is old now or Martin Parr. You'll be saying that Martin Parks where isn't relevant anymore. How many stories do you have, Chris? I have two. Well, I actually have two, two, but wrapped inside those two are many, many, many stories, as many as we can afford to go through, and even next week. All right, you want to go then? Yeah. Tell me your first story. My first story, Robin. I've looked forward to telling you the story because I know that you are a uh, an animal lover um, of all animals, not just doggies and cats and foxes and sheep and horses. Um, but this is indeed about a horse, okay? Well, it's not about a horse. Um, this is uh, a ZMH. This series, and this is oh, this is We Presents Photography. Do you ever go on it? Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, I just love it. This series is the incarnation of old sleepy dreams. Oh, oh, hmm. uh huh. Growing up in Afghanistan, photographer as he met, his parents would tell him tales of heroic travellers who would ride across mountains on horses. Now as a photographer, his passion is to bring the mysteries and myths of his roots to, um, to life through photography. In his projects, um, Idris, ooh, I like that, as a person who's done projects on horses, um, he reacts to those beautiful magical creatures um, he used to imagine as a kid. No CGI, this is the clincher, no CGI needed, just a horse a rider and a car full of tinsel. 
Oh, cool. oh, sounds interesting. Oh, Rob, you've never seen anything like that. Now, whenever you think a car full of tinsel, you'd think, yeah, some tinsel shoved in the boot. You know, kind of maybe like I don't know, like a bag. I, I would say this is um, this is a big car, mm-hmm. and the horse is absolutely and utterly covered in gold and silver tinsel. I've always been interested in creating a visual link between reality and my inner world. This is a good. This is my, a nice a nice thought for those people who um, struggle to make work, as we all do at times. That your inner world is probably a good place to start. You know what I mean? Okay. Because you know we all have. Well, you more than most um, have uh, have 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 an exciting um, a, an exciting life. You know, I would say you've got a plethora of things that could be dredged out of that mucky, murky mind and put 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 on the um, put on the film. I would imagine. Is this gentleman shooting on film? Yeah. No, I think no one. No, I don't think it is film. I think it's digital. But I imagine in Afghanistan, which is where it's been shot, I imagine that's probably practical. I get a sense. I could be wrong. It could well be. I haven't. I haven't. Um, I haven't seen anything to uh, to make me think that it's um, that it, that it's that it's that it's film. Mm-hmm. But my goodness, beautiful stuff. Yeah, it's just him riding 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 around on a horse covered in tinsel through um, Afghanistani villages. Wow, you can picture Sounds that. Interesting. Yeah, those okra colours, that that dust. And then a horse, very, very sparkly, and he's shooting in, uh, in pretty pretty blazing light. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I like it a lot. It makes me feel uh, energised. What do you think of that, Rob? Sounds like he's, uh, well, I think brazen is a good word. Brazen. Well, of course, as well, with all the, we, know what, we know the crack. We, if you take that down to a political level, which we, I suppose we have to, we, we Biden pulling out of... Afghanistan and all the stuff that's going on with the Taliban. Um, you know, I think supporting artists in a, a, a country that's probably heading somewhere we don't want to think about. Yeah. Is a, you know, if you, and another thing is, we know if you look at these photographs, you just see them as being aesthetically beautiful. You don't think of the heat, you don't think of the dust, you don't think of the practicalities. Um, how do you, I'd love to see some photographs of the horse being tied with tinsel. You know what I mean? No. Well, I'd like to see I'd like to see the work. I'd like to see the the, the inner workings of the whole thing. Oh, okay. We we could do the same, maybe you and I. That's what we'll do, Rob. What about you you let me cover you in tinsel and ride you around the studio? Yeah, sure, Chris. When when whenever you have time, come on by. You're better about the time, aren't you? You're busy. You're as busy. You're as busy as me, Dicko. What do you mean? I mean, I'm doing home improvement work. Well, that, but that's still busy. Yeah. Listen, don't be, don't be doing, doing me down for be, for being busy. I'm not doing you down for yeah, being busy. Yeah, you make me feel. You make. Yeah. You're making me feel. No, I'm doing you down. I'm doing you down because you never return a, a a phone call or a message. That's why I'm doing you down. <laughs> that's not true. It's not you do return them eventually, it's not but I appreciate it. I appreciate. I appreciate that you're busy, and I appreciate that you have a lot on your plate. Is this like I just, I, you know? You, I, I'm just trying to get stuff done too. You're, you're roast, I just want. You're, to, I just want to involve you. I want. You know, it's it's very difficult to involve you. Do you know, sometimes. Do you know who I feel like? Jonah, Bert Reynolds. Jonah, no. Oh, that's nice. So I like that. I like Bert Reynolds a lot, but no. Um, Dolly Parton. I do like Dolly, but um, Farrah Fawcett. Ooh, I love. Yes, yeah, you're probably more Farrah Fawcett. I think so. Than, than Dolly. Cross between Farrah Fawcett and what was her name? Linda Carter, who played Wonder Woman. She was good. Yeah, was I think good. you're a cross between. Yeah, those, those three, two. Those, those three. Those three. Those three. Those three. Yeah. I'm thinking a bit of a bit of um, a bit of Joan, Joan. Take Burt Reynolds out of there. Joan of Arc. I'm thinking Joan of Arc. No, 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 not at all. Mm. Dolly Parton. Slightly delusional. Uh, yeah, Linda, Linda Carter and uh, what's her name? Farrah yeah, Fawcett. Is Farrah Fawcett. Fawcett. Is she dead? 
she passed away. Mm. Rectum cancer. Is that what it was? Yep. I thought that, that was it really. Yep. That's awful. Yep. She was great. Horrible. She was great in her day, wasn't she? Yep. She did. She did that Margaret Burke White yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh, there's a film I'm going to watch tonight or tomorrow night or whenever I can called. Um, oh, I watched it ages ago, 2006 or something that came to my head today. The Crass film. It's a doc documentary. Is who? It? Crass, the band, the punk band Crass. There's um. Never saw it. Yeah, and there's a documentary called. Um, uh, is it your dead or no? It's not your dead already. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Robert, what's your story? It better be a good one, and it better not be legalities or somebody being sued. No, it's all about the mass exodus <gasps> from, of photographers from Sony. <laughs> From leaving for Instagram. Really? Yep. Oh. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of photographers who have just had it with Instagram. Mm. In that the algorithm is no longer working. This tricky. In that this tricky. All these paid content providers and influencers are, and stuff are getting, you know, their images seen, but you know, just regular Joe photographer who puts down a couple of hashtags and is looking to get, you know, promote his business locally or regionally or, you know, statewide, countywide, whatever, is just getting lost in the mix mm. or not even seen. Mm. So now all these photographers are heading over to Twitter. Really? Yep. So there's quite a few, quite a few uh youtube videos there's quite a few articles talking about how to optimize your your twitter feed for photography how to shoot uh, i think they favor more landscape photographs than portrait mm. uh, it's better to put up multiples of two so like two or four up on your on a single post because that's the way if it formats better within the twitter format mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, I've talked, I don't know, I've probably talked to a handful of photographers just in the past couple of days who've said the same thing about Instagram. They're just, they're fed up. They're just, mm. But what, for what it is, come on. I mean, I mean, you know, it's a free social media yeah, forever. Yeah, and it's fun. But it, but it became sort of an outlet, a creative outlet to share your photography with potential art directors or mm. agencies well, or I, even end users in some cases. But I think it's still, I think you, I think you can still do that because I do still do it, but I target people personally. I don't put up a hashtag thinking, you know, hashtag Farrah Fawcett, I hope she'll see it. Obviously she's dead, she won't. Um, but do you know what I mean? I literally what, go. You, put, you, you, you tag them in the photo? No, I just, I just contact them. I just contact them via, via message and chat them. Well, then, then you're then you're going outside, really, yeah. of Instagram, of what Instagram is. I yeah. mean, there's nothing stopping you from creating an email with a bunch of your photography well, and actually emailing mm, that person. I think there's a I think there's a diff I think there is a difference. I think uh, there's a difference because it's it's on a public platform and you're allowing everybody to see it, but you're focusing no, but, in on one yeah. person, a target person, yeah, yeah. to actually send them a direct message. But there's with a, this. but there's a, but there's also a, a slight friendliness already built into Instagram in a sense. Do you know what I mean? That if you're, you know, I, I wouldn't just flat out send somebody a message. You know, I'd like their posts for a couple of weeks. You play the game. Um, well, how would you address that message, anyways? What do you mean? Give me an example. I mean, what a message would sound like, like. Like, dear sir, like that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I yeah. just, I just say, loving, love, love, loving, loving your work. Big fan. Um, would be interested in doing some work with you sometime. If you're interested, have a look at my page. See what you think. Generally, that sort of stuff. Or sometimes we bit more personal. So the soft sell, a real soft sell. Oh yeah, super soft sell. Yeah, but you know, if somebody's in the, if somebody's in the, I don't know. You know, I was talking to somebody from Wall Street Journal, and it turned out you would never have thought it in a million years they were into, uh, into crass, into hardcore uh, punk, into DIY stuff from the from the seventies. Um, 
you know, and you've, you've come across this just by doing a, a light bit of research, you know, and then you've already got an inbuilt conversation just waiting to happen. And once mm-hmm. you once you start that, once you make those connections, then, you know, it's somebody, somebody's a wee bit more favourable to you. Now, sure. that, that's not, you know, many times you're going to do that, but it's still an option. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, I like I I, used, I do get jobs from Instagram for sure, local local jobs. Um, but I think I just enjoy it. You know what I mean? I don't I don't. It's not that I'm, you know, putting stuff up hoping that I'm going to be, you know, the next I don't know, the next big thing. I've no, mm. I've, I've, you know, I don't have any dreams or aspirations for that. I don't want fifty thousand followers. I'm quite happy with what I've got, and you know. Yeah, I can't really talk because I I haven't really been on Instagram for over a year. Well, you're too too busy building fences, putting walls up. Yeah, and I mean, I just, it just, I see these influencers putting up stuff, you know, and it gets like 30,000 likes of, you know, a guy standing on the edge of a cliff overlooking a blue lake with green trees and a snow-capped peak in the background and the subject's back is towards the camera Mm -hmm. and you see that you know you know if you squint your eyes you see that like 50 times a day no of course just just looking looking through instagram but you know they'll get fifty thousand likes or a hundred thousand likes and then you put something up that actually means something to you that you know you thought about and it just fucking fizzles out. No, I know, I got you, I got you, I got you. Unless you're putting up some, if I put up stuff, stills that I can put up with p- famous people, they always get, you know, of course they do. But, well, I, do you know what? I've noticed that the, the likes I, the, my stuff is, is if I put up photographs of either me or family stuff, gets way more likes than, than, than you know, stills or whatever. Way more likes. I go on Instagram every now and then. Probably, you know, like once a day or twice a day or yeah. something. And I only like photographs with dogs in them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just purposefully only like dog photos. Because then you'll get loads of dog photos photos back. Yeah. So, I, if, so, if, so if somebody's on my feed, you know, petting their golden retriever. You like that? I hit that like. I hit that like and <laughs> just roll on by everything else. But I know I like that. Uh, yeah, because I would, what am I? I'm trying to think. I follow a girl called Rebecca, um, who I've known for a while now, and she had a an accident and a brain injury, um, and I religiously go onto the page every day, and follow her stuff, because it's an incredibly positive, yet moving and life affirming journey. You know what I mean? Cool. I also go on to spiritual thinkers. Love it. I can't get enough of the spiritual thinkers. Oh yeah, men with long beards give me wise wisdom. I go on the Filipino Eddie Murphy. Oh, don't! Oh, is there one? <laughs> is there? I I I subscribe to a few of those jokey, oh, jokey oh, yeah, 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 ones. Yeah, yeah, I've sent them to you. You Quite have. Fun. You've sent me lots of funny things, Rob, that spur me on through my tough, difficult last few months. I mean, I don't know Instagram, whatever. Like it's not like I'm gonna run out and start, you know, loading up my Twitter account. I don't. I don't understand Twitter. That's my problem. It feels distant. Two two hundred and eighty-eight characters, and you know. I know, but I don't. I, a bunch of images. But it seems trolly and serious compared to Instagram. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you keep you keep out of the political end of things. Hmm. 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 I might give it a shot, but do you know what I? I'm, I, I don't use Facebook anymore. I use it. I like it on. I go on in the morning to check my memories from yesteryear and to see whose birthday it is. That's it. I did put a picture today, right on. But I've now noticed I must have pressed something on Instagram because it's sharing from my Instagram on the Facebook. I must, yeah, you have that option. I must have. I must detag it. Would you like to hear my second story? Oh yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> I have nothing with nothing tonight. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. So yeah, I, I, nothing would make me happier right now at this moment in life, Chris, than to, to hear your second story. You're so Canadian. You surpass. If there were somewhere more Canadian than Canada, 
you if there's somewhere drier than Canada, you'd be, you'd be living there. Northern Ontario. It's dry, but it, it's going through a heat wave, isn't it? Oh, British Columbia is. British Columbia. British Columbia was forty-seven or something. Crikes! Where's your mum? Where's your mum? She in, she's not British Columbia. No, no, Ontario. Ontario. Yep. Hmm. Well, my second story, Rob, is, and we've talked about this before, but the time has come to pass um, that it's now online. Source Graduate Photography 2021. Oh, really? Oh. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, yeah, it is, eh? Well, that's great. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So uh, hopefully the website is easier to navigate this year. It's quite similar. <laughs> To the virtual reality thing that there was last oh, year. Oh no, 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 no! This is completely different. This is this is literally um, you go into Falmouth, you look at the um, B A or M M M F A or, or M A, and you click on Russell Dyer, and Russell Dyer comes up searching for happiness um, uh, during COVID nineteen. Record numbers of people suffered from mental health, and this is his. Um, Happiness uh, tells the story of survivors of domestic violence through childhood and subsequent mental health challenges that now face as an, as an adult. And it's nice work. There's lots of nice stuff on it. Lots of really nice stuff. It's also nice to go through and look at what is in vogue. You know when you're old and weary and you kinda, you, you, you're, not in, you're not in contact with the, uh, with the, with the cool anymore? Um, well, it, you're only in contact through Instagram, right? That's true, probably. Well, well, you know what? Since since leaving since leaving university, um, I would say that my you know I see with a lot of talks. Not that the talks were madly contemporary at times, but um, it's hard to keep photo books. Kind of keep me right. You know what I mean? Photo books are probably my my go to thing to see what's not what's cool. Cool's the wrong word because it's only cool if it interests you. Um, but we have, I don't know how many courses here. We have um, from Bath through to Westminster. I must look at Westminster. I have a friend who goes, teaches there. Um, and it kind of, it's also nice to look at stuff that is city-based and also um, whenever, like London-based, London-centric. And then as we filter around the country to see what's happening. It's, not, it's, 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 an, it's good education. And it's also really nice because you can go in and you can read the... Uh, the bios of the of the artists and then you can go to their websites and see what work they're doing so it's nice comprehensive you can go for it you can go for a nice uh an, an, a nice jaunt there's a nice one there with the if only i could say the names and it actually won't let me load it for some reason and it looks like masturbation is the epitome of self-love really beautiful yeah maybe you have parental controls on your computer no it's off now i've taken it off leah does try and put it on but we just got rid of it um and this is um, uh, this is a recent uh, year event unfolded. Uh, the absence of touch became a focal point with me and a catalyst in development of the project. This the depriv- deprivation of sensual experience led him towards, um, and I can't say his name, it's G-Y-O-N-G-Y-I. I'm not sure how you pronounce yeah, that. I'm not going to attempt that either. No. Um, Baginka looks at his surname as Baginka. Anyway, it's um, it's beautiful um, uh, uh, portraits of um, of what looks like um, <laughs> items for self gratification. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. These well, it's they're like what do we say? Dildo is dildo still a word? Sure it is. Is it? Sure. Is it too Sid James? Is it too carry on up the Kyber? He does. He, <laughs> he does. Pardon my pun. He doesn't say that. He says these visually cap these visually captivating toys are encapsulated the shame I experience when when talking about self love. Ah, okay. I suppose they could be for anywhere, couldn't they? It's hard to know what ends up. Let's say. But anyway. Apart from all all that, all that stuff, they are uh, beautifully photographed, beautifully photographed. There you go. And as a guy who has a photograph of a dildo on his um, website, which often gets commented about, um, uh, I feel a synergy 
towards this work, except mine's is very poorly taken. And <laughs> oh dear, there you go. What are you drinking tonight, Rob? Grape juice? Deuce. Deuce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a big glass of juice. I am drinking, you'll be glad to know that I am dry. And I'm drinking fizzy water. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to lose some weight. I'm trying to uh, make myself a leaner, meaner machine. Not leaner, meaner. Leaner, greener machine. Is that way to say it? Apple cider. Are you, are you plant based yet? Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, completely. A apple cider in the morning. Then, mm -hmm. then a, apple a, cider vinegar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then a few bits and pieces, and then um, I've got a I got an Apple Watch to try and try and maintain a sense of um, where I'm at with regards to exercise, um, and it doesn't seem to be working. None of it seems to be working. <laughs> I think they were giving away Fitbits they were. last week. Were they with yeah. insurance yeah, companies? Yeah, yeah. No, um, God, what was where was it? I saw that. I can't remember. But they had a bunch of different colors of Fitbits that they were, like, if they weren't giving them away, that was like a token pound or something. Really? Or delivery only. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember where I saw it, though. Well, I have to say that I'm enamored with the, the Apple Watch. I know it's not a story, but the Patrick loves it because you can get emojis of poo on it, which is, which is just uh, really tickles. Whenever I go to sleep, I would have um, I'd have a picture of uh, a wiggling poo, and the emoji poo. That's great. Now, <laughs> are you are you feeling less um, resentment toward me? In what sense? Well, just in any sense. I don't have any resentment towards you. Why would I have resentment? I'm just a, it just sounded a wee bit earlier on, but I'm probably just imagining that. I hope the sound is okay. I've just noticed my. Um, my microphone was slightly tucked behind my coat. Oh, it's probably been rustling away all thirty well, minutes. I haven't been I haven't been wriggling in the chair. And uh, you and I, we can't talk about it, but we're working together very soon, I believe. Are we? Hmm. Well, we are. Well, we are. Three days, I believe. You're doing four. I'm doing yeah. three. There you go. The news is out. No. Not me. You. It must be another person. No, it's definitely you. One well, Chris, those were two good stories. I think they were, Rob. I think they were. Horses with tinsel. And um, given everyone the chance to go and look up, um, uh, uh, they're not vibrators because they there's no moving parts. They're, they're made of glass or plastic. They must be... Ready for the bum? Would you masturbate? Please? All right, and then on that note, Chris. Well, let me answer. Let me answer this. Just one last. Can you can you masturbate with your bum? I'm so old and. Sure you can, Chris. You yes, think so? Of course you can. You Absolutely. think so? Really? Yes. Yeah. And your time is probably just about to run out on your camera. So. You, you've you've lived in LA. If anybody knows, you know. <laughs> Las Vegas. All right, Chris. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. You will see me next and week. And we can do this again. Yeah, I'm much less busy than I was. Much, 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 right. much less busy. We'll see you next week, Chris. I love you, Rob. Bye. I know you don't feel it, but it's true. Bye. Am I gone? Bye. You think I'm gone? Do you think I'm gone, Rob? Yeah, you're gone. I feel like Rooker Horror. Not Rooker Hauer. It's not what's his surname? Rooker. Rooker Hauer. Rooker Hauer, that's the man. Kill it again. Time to die. Think I'm gone. You